Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about sexually transmitted diseases. But if you are new to my channel, I'm Ms. Simon Nabring and I discuss everything else. To my returning subscribers, this is me saying thank you for sticking around. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button if you've not done that already. So what is sexually transmitted diseases or what are sexually transmitted infections or diseases? These are diseases that can be gotten through sexual intercourse, ranging from HIV, herpes, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, etc. So for the sake of today's video, I will be treating chlamydia. So what is chlamydia? Chlamydia is a sexually transmitted disease that is caused by a bacteria known as chlamydia trachomatis. So what are the signs and symptoms? How will you know that oh, I actually have this infection in me? Anyways, for chlamydia, its, it's signs and symptoms does not really show on time. And even if they show, they tend to be mild. And some people don't even tend to like display the signs and symptoms. Okay, But its signs and symptoms ranges from fever, painful urination, Painful sexual intercourse in ladies, bleeding intermittently before your expected menstrual period or even after sexual intercourse. Testicular pain in men, painful ejaculation, penile discharge, and vaginal discharge in ladies. Both genders can also experience lower abdominal pain. So, how can I actually diagnose or what are the investigations to be done to diagnose chlamydia? Vaginal swabs can be done in ladies and penile swabs can be done just to detect the causative organisms for chlamydia. So what are the mode of transmission of this disease? Like how can it be transferred from one person to another? One, by having unprotected sex can either be vaginal sex, it can be anal sex, and also indulging in oral sex as well. Use of sex toys, okay? Then, this disease can also be transferred from the mother to the baby during delivery, okay? So that leads us to the possible treatment of this disease. This can be treated using antibiotics because it is caused by a bacteria. So what are the antibiotics that can help in the treatment of this disease condition. Azithromycin and doxycycline can be used in treatment of chlamydia. But please, this is not me prescribing any medications for you. You can't just decide I have chlamydia based on the signs and symptoms. You just need to go to your doctor to run a test and give you a diagnosis of what is actually wrong with you before prescribing any medications for you, okay? So what is the complication of chlamydia? The complications of chlamydia ranges from pelvic inflammatory diseases in ladies. This infection can also cause what we call atopic pregnancy in ladies. That is the fetus or let's say the embryo implanting in places outside the uterus like the fallopian tube. Okay. This can also cause infertility. And the last but not the least is infection of the newborn. If you can remember what we talked about in the mode of transmission from mother to child. Yes. So when this infection is transmitted to a baby, it can result to serious infection such as eye infection or even pneumonia. Okay. So we've come to the end of this video. Please do watch out for the STI series. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so. And turn on the notification bell to get notified on when next I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.